All right, good morning, y'all. It's been a while since I've seen you, and I almost just backed into my wall. So thank you for not distracting me too much. The last time you guys saw me, I was driving around a car that you drive dead people in, but that's not the case today. Today, we are in my 335D, heading over to Miami to pick up the new YouTube project car. I really, really miss filming. I miss a whole Ultramotive crew over in Seattle, and I really miss the kind of magic that filming does. It's really, really hard to describe unless you've done it. Being in that place, I just miss it to bits, and I've been waiting, and I've been thinking about the perfect platform to start the next YouTube series with. Unfortunately, the Hearst just wasn't gonna work out because I bought it three months before I moved to Florida. That was not the smartest thing I've ever done. <laughs> With that move, obviously the hearse is on the other side of the country. And I was not about to ship a hearse that was barely running across the country for me to just have more headache with it. Ultimately, now it resides at a haunted house and it has been painted bright yellow. But with that said, I think I found the perfect car for the occasion. So with that, we are on the way to pick up my friend Kagan, who will be accompanying us on this journey. All right, we have arrived at Mr. Kagan's place, the home of the Honda Fit. Are you ready for this, pimp? I am ready. You ready for this? Yeah. Let's do it, bro. This is gonna be insane. So, this is, of course, the 335D. I haven't really made a video on this yet. This has just been my Florida daily driver with the Sooty Sooty license plate. We're just gonna go ahead and grab a couple of things, start her up, and we are gonna be on the way to Miami will be discussing a little bit further what we will be possibly purchasing. I hope this all fit because I already have a bunch of stuff in here. For those of you that remember the Hearst videos, I am taking every precaution that I can possibly get. So I am going to make it fit. All right, let's do it. So I would just pop the trunk with my key with the car off, but unfortunately my battery is incredibly dead. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car and I'll pop the trunk. We got extra fuel because he sent me a video and it was awfully low on gas. Uh, we have our four ton jack, which is in theory enough. We got tools, oil, water for fires of sorts, but I have more on that in a second. Here's our battery jumper, some wrenches, and then for people that will remember the Hearst videos, we're bringing back the fire extinguisher. We used four of these on the $700 hearse in my last series. I... Oh! oh! Hopefully the one fire extinguisher and two water bottles suffices for today. Hopefully none of it needs to be touched, but we'll see about that in a little bit. And after some driving and a quick cookie stop, we are ready to discuss what we are going to purchase. All right, we're about an hour-ish away. We're almost there, baby. Not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bit nervous. Uh, <laughs> This is definitely like the most I've put into a dedicated YouTube car. This is definitely, I would say the cheapest limo that's drivable, but there is a couple of things wrong with it. That's why I have a boy hanging here with us. All it basically needs is right now the caliper is stuck shut. Then apparently there's some rear suspension issues that we're not particularly specified upon. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out when we get there. Yeah, that's kind of a, <laughs> How things are rolling right now, we're driving three hours for kind of an impulse. It became obvious very quickly why those suspension issues were undisclosed. The rear suspension had totally collapsed. The rear tires were tucking beneath the fender and the exhaust was so low to the ground that it had totally scraped off. That on top of the seized caliper made this car undrivable. It was this on top of 11 year old dry rotted tires and much worse paint than what was advertised to us that ultimately led to the demise of this car and us not getting it. We were gutted. But two weeks later, another advertisement came up in Miami and I had to shoot my shot again. Except this time I recruited my girlfriend Anna along with Kagan, sorry for making you throw wheel Kagan, and went on our way back to Miami. This time we were armed with the no internet dinosaur and screaming frog videos to pass the time until we found ourselves square in the middle of a police chase. Look at this, this is crazy. Oh. 
Look at this! <laughs> this is insane. Oh my god. This is crazy. I have never seen anything like that. The car right now. There he is. There's the man. Oh wait, you can't park there. Oh. <laughs> Yes, as you heard, it was insanely crazy. So crazy, in fact, that we found ourselves on the news. But after sitting in traffic forever, having the police clear the highway, we were very, very eager to see the limo. And when we got to the limo, we were greeted with this. Rev. All right, let's get some gas in it then. And get gas we did. And after checking over the entire limo, even making sure to forget to test drive it, we came to a deal. Alrighty, y'all, I can't believe it. I'm actually shaking. I haven't felt this feeling since I bought the hearse. This is my new limousine. There's Kagan driving my diesel. And now I gotta get used to driving something that's uh, 19 feet long. So this is gonna be uh, for sure interesting. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did this. <laughs> Man, this has just been such a long time in the works to do this and to really, really commit to doing YouTube like this. It's, it's a big leap. Um, and I feel really, really lucky that we were able to do it. We got a really good deal for the car. There's a couple things more wrong with it than I expected. The seller is interesting too, because for the life of me, I could not get him to stop saying probably in any messages that I could get. It, it was just insane. But he needed the car out, and because he needed it out, I got it for a really good price. So we're gonna put a couple hundred into it just to kind of restore it. There's a couple of odds in it that are wrong with it that shouldn't be too bad to fix, but it still ultimately needs to be done. Look at the amount of car that's behind me in the rear view mirror. Like that is just so ostentatious. I'm really glad I got this, which is like a slightly shorter, I don't know if you could call it shorter, version of a limo. It's just kind of easier to maneuver and it's what I wanted and we're finally here to the point where I got it. So I'm just so, so happy. With that said, we are still not out of the ropes yet with this thing. We still have a three hour drive home. I feel better about this limo than the last one about making it home and I paid less for this than the other one. So that's a you know good sign. Oh, we're turning. I have to check my 19 feet of blind spot. A few moments later. All right, the voyage begins. Anna's hanging out with me in the passenger seat. Kagan's driving the diesel. We have somewhere around 300 miles to go. A full tank and it's not overheating yet. And only an ABS light to worry about. Let's see if it makes it home. Let's see if it makes it home. It is currently 9.14. Let's see if there's any delays. If you guys know about my YouTube projects of the past, uh, you guys will know that this is normally not a very quick and swift process. Oh, whoa! All right, here is our situation report now. It is now currently 11.31 p.m. We made it across the fabled alligator alley where there is no help and no sort of kind of assistance if something were to happen, if this were to break down, that would be a really, really big issue. Up to this point, it's held up. No issues. There's no wood, so I'm not gonna say that, actually. I take that back. We have another, I think, about hour and a half until home. She has held up really, really well. I think on that note, unless anything else happens between now and Sarasota over the next hour and a half, I will be seeing you guys in the morning. Cheers. a.m. We made it back home. I can't believe it. This thing really was truly flawless. Truly, truly flawless. This, I think, really, really broke the spell of me having a horrible luck with my YouTube adventure cars. On fire again? Yeah. 
well i really only had one streak to break so it really wasn't too too bad but for how anxious i was going into this it was totally unjustified really really couldn't be happier i think this was a proper proper score thanks again to the boy kagan and anna who is now dropped off at home for accommodating this trip all right good morning everyone it is 8 28 a.m and as promised i would wake up bright and early to get this old girl cleaned up so i guess on that without any further ado let's try and get her into the That is the result of the first clean. It turned out pretty decent. It needs a lot of buffing work, a lot of paint correction work to do. Definitely far from perfect, but honestly, not a bad clean slate for this YouTube build series. Next video, I'm gonna go in depth as to what all is wrong with this limo and everything that I plan on fixing. And from there, we will discuss what exactly the full plan is for this big old fucking beast. But for now, I think this is a great time to end the video. Thank you so much for watching. I am so, so excited for this YouTube build series and I look forward to seeing you guys very, very soon.